Hey guys, it's Marvin Ambrosius here for a very special treat. We are in Box Park for the grand opening of the Averick store. Now, Averick was founded in 1975. It was an aviation brand, but became the most iconic hip hop brand of all time. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey guys, it's your boy here, Marvin Ambrosi, is at the Averick shop with my guy, Waleed, who has just made his first purchase here at Averick's at Box Park. Grand opening today. So, Waleed, you tell me now, what did you purchase and are you happy with your purchase today? I got the young one, young jacket. I can, I can show you. Yes, like. show us, show us, man. Show little, us the piece. A little Ooh. vintage thing. A little vintage Avi. You know, like that sign. Like, Look at that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, man. It's a good experience today, man. Come down here. Yeah. So, my guy, Marvin, I see my guy. King of Trainers, Franklin on that. So also, is this like the first time you've purchased anything from Avix or have you got something in the past, like any other vintage game? Nah, 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 this is like a dream come true, my friend. I'll be honest with you, if you're looking for a, for a vintage Averix, this, this is a good place to go, isn't it? Yeah. Reasonable price, you know what I mean? That's yeah. how I was happy, I was happy. Okay, now with Averix being such an iconic brand and we're here at Box Park at the brand new opening of the brand new store, now I want to know from yourself now, what does Averix mean to you and what hip hop artists do you associate most with the brand? Definitely Biggie, it's got to be Biggie. I remember being a 90s kid, stealing my brother's hip hop albums and getting a bit obsessed with it. I remember I did this whole thing on Tupac once just because I was obsessed with the whole hip hop scene, the fashion, everything. And still now, I still think I'm a 90s hip hop artist, the okay. way I dress. Oh, it is, it's <laughs> it. we're, we're never going to change. I'm never, never going to change. Like, never. That's why these kids are trying to get our drip. Of course, but of course. With the pieces they've got in there now, what's the most iconic piece that stands out to you? Is it more the jackets for you? Jackets, 100%. Jackets. Yeah, and what's your jackets. favorite piece? In there right now, yeah. that pink bomber. That has been the, the one that everyone, bomber. everyone's been talking about that jacket today. I'm going to have to get a picture in it now just because everyone's you been talking about it. I know, I should, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe I should, but do you know what? I need shoes that coordinate with that color That's and I've fine. only got one colorway shoe that goes with it. You'll have to buy new shoes then. That's not, that's standard for us, isn't well, it? But no, again, thank you so much, Ronis, for coming on the show, guys. Make sure you follow her, and we shall see you very soon. Thank you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. DD Supreme came down to the official launch of Averix. I'm old school life Averix, and my good old school brethren, Marvin. How you doing? We're here, bro. See, he's, he's, he's flipping it. He's interviewing me on this one now. We're flipping it around. No, seriously, he was going to interview me, but I said, no, nah, let's interview him. So, All right, I'm here. We're going to talk a little bit about Averix. We're going to go back to the hip-hop days. We're talking 1993, 1992. Moonshot. Basketball, all dayers, all day, jungle, reggae, beanie man, shabba ranks. So I mean, it was across the board, baby, wasn't it? It's pretty much everywhere. And we're talking about hip hop as in culture. Like me and you probably were wearing avies when we were hanging out together, playing ball. But then at the same time, with it going out of style and becoming vintage, but now it's come back in fashion, bro. I couldn't believe it when I saw King of Trainers page and saw they bring it back down. I said I had to come down for the official launch of this one. And you came around, dripped out. Look at this, completely dread that and came in the Harley as well. Had to make an open, had to make a splash. That's just what we do. Big shout out to Harley Davidson UK. Appreciate the breakout. Thanks for the love. Yeah, and, and also as well, in terms of the pieces that you get, when do you remember the last time you bought an AV though? Do you know what? Last time I bought an AV, I was riding moping. So we're talking Ooh. talking like 16. 16 wow, so that's like 1996. Yeah, yeah, it's the last one I bought. That was it, even for me. But I did get to, in 2000s, when I was going to Philly a lot, I bought my last, I think, 2003. Yeah, because you used to travel to the States a lot with your yeah, sister, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 2003 was the last time I got one. But this one here is the iconic piece for me. I'm going to show you. Look at that. Like, this this is the jacket for me right now. That's I'm nice. Going in it. Ice white, ice cold. <laughs> yeah. But no, I really appreciate it. Again, he's interviewing me, I'm interviewing him. But you know, again, I appreciate this guy. Watch out for his socials. Watch out for his acting career. It is about to blow up. Don't Remember forget the fitness king here, the fitness guru. Check him out on Sky. <laughs> Try it, bro. We're here, though. We're here. See you soon.